Today I'm going to show you how to um, record, put in FSX textures into your FSX folder. And um, what you need to do is you need to go to Simvation, FS Downloads, whatever the site is. You can just go on Google and type in FS Downloads. Um, then download whatever you want. Uh, make sure it's for FSX and save it to your desktop. I recommend your desktop so you don't have to go into your doc. Uh, yeah, your documents and have them to hunt for it. And um, just save it, and you'll you'll find something like that. Uh, sometimes it looks like that, sometimes it's a folder like this with like a zip across it, sometimes it's you use WinRAR, whatever it is. You just open it up and use whatever way you extract it, just extract it to like that. And it'll just show up on your desktop wherever you've saved it. Um, first of all you need to go to install, minimize that for later and then copy that. And then you go into this and go to program files, just type in P. Then find Microsoft uh, Flight Simulator, or no, Microsoft Games. Microsoft games. Microsoft Flight Simulator X, that's the only game I'm running by Microsoft. Then Shim Objects, then Airplanes, and then you find the 737, normally at the top because it's default. And then paste that into there. I've already pasted it in, so I'll just do it again. Then what you need to do is you need to go back into the README and copy this. Control C. And then go into the aircraft CFG file. Now sometimes you can't open it up and you have to open it with right click and open with um word and all that just open it up and find your latest texture 13 14 15 16 there's 17 I've already copied it in for quickness but doesn't really matter um but how you know that it's the latest one is if you see um general there it is there if you see general then that you know that's the latest one um just paste that in again copy it the whole thing I'll just paste it in um, now the X sometimes it's XX whatever you need to take that out and because it's 16 you do the next number which is 17 and then you X that and you save it make sure you save it and you just X that and then you open up your FSX if it doesn't show you up you've obviously done something wrong and you have to go back through your steps again and make sure everything's copied to the right uh, director but um, normally it just does it automatically and should work. Thanks for watching. www.channelvirtual.co.uk